Hello everyone, uh, welcome back again to our channel. This is my solid visual. As you may know, our channel is dedicated to providing um, educational tips and tricks of uh, architectural softwares. And uh, today's video will be covering uh, a tip from as usual Archicad tip, but it's a workflow that we are currently using in our studio. Um, it's, it's, we are converting this 2D into a 3D document, um, into a 3D model, and we are going to model using Archicad. So we are helping uh, designers, um, architects that want to get into Archicad and how to improve their uh, presentation drawings uh, and so on. For instance, this is a project from a client of ours. He is a constructor. He wants to present this uh, to a client. He wants to build this building. So he only has um, 2Ds. He's a drafter. He's a 2D drafter. So the, nowadays, uh, 2Ds are not enough. And hence why he engaged us. He wants to outsource our services. So we are going to help him deliver this project uh, since the client requires to see what she is investing in so if you are having the same problem in your office or you want to improve your workflows in terms of your deliverables uh, we could uh, watch this video to the end so this is the model that you are going to uh, be working on this is the end product uh, this is a speed uh, speed build a workflow um, but I wanted to show you a trip and trick so what we did is we import the PDF here uh, since it's from AutoCAD so we believe it's uh, to scale uh, what we have to do is um, you're going to use MS Beam template and the template is um, for you guys who um, want to create um, uh, nice presentation layouts um, we want to speed the workflows in terms of delivering high quality uh, drawings for your projects and improve automations uh, workflows so as you know, Akikad, uh, when, when you model the 2Ds and everything are set, uh, they are going to, uh, you're going to extract them automatically. And using this uh, MS Beam template that, uh, that we covered for you guys, it's a powerful tool do for designers to streamline your workflows. As we model here, yeah, this is a modeling um, tracing, basically. I'm tracing the plan from PDF from a 2D file. Uh, so the reports, um, the schedules, the elevations, the, the, the automatically being set behind the scenes. That's the power of ACAD. Uh, that's the power of Beam, basically. ACAD is a Beam tool. Uh, you'll have access range to, to uh, objects, including walls, doors, and everything. Uh, we're going to populate this with a virtual library um, which you have access to uh, quite a lot so I'm just tracing here using uh, basic stuff I'm just tracing the model I'm just tracing the, the, this uh, I'm building uh, what, what, here in Akihad we are not um, drawing we are building we are using real life things uh, like you have to imitate everything that you want to um uh, to, to, to depict like a foundation has to be depicted as a foundation so here i'm just uh, drawing a foundation using uh, the virtual library it's an ever-growing 3d library with more than 2000 objects and um, the tool is you know we have everything superstructures interior components and so on so this is a uh, speed build like i said uh, I'm transforming this 2D plan into a 3D. So I have progress, I modeled the foundation, I put the windows, the windows have um, as well are in the virtual library which you could um, tap into. So basically I didn't, uh, modeling is simple, we have quite a lot of videos in terms of how we model, how we uh, use complex profiles, how you 
tips and tricks on how to modeling from beginners we have a beginner guide uh, training series a video series of that you could check it out uh, you could check it out as well um, so I'll leave the links of everything that you're going to need in the links in, in, the, in the description box but basically like we're saying you could have our resources that uh, you could um, speed up your workflows improve your productivity improve your um, you know streamline your workflows you have furnishing elements room elements uh, all you have to do is just copy and drag them to your file drag them to your file that's the beauty of working with a visual library you don't have to start working um, step by step you know editing elements and so on it's time consuming that's the beauty of having a system in place the beauty of having the um, virtual library MSB in virtual library is there it, it's it, you could have it in the description box it's, uh, it's you know it's a valuable tool to have and improve your arcade workflows with this um, so the walls the windows the doors all I have to do is just copy just um, like right now I'm looking for a garage door I'd look for a garage door and um, there are very there are many uh, um, preset objects uh, custom made custom made this garage list doors are custom made so all I did is um, maybe I'll look for a nice one a nice garage door uh, not this one um, you know it depends on the feel so I'll prefer not this one um, um, browse browse so we have an ex this extensive extensive visual library that's ever growing um, not this one um, not this one not this one which one should I take okay let me view them in 3d so this is a 2d view you can view them in 3d uh, before you choose what you could um, um, could choose from so you could you have a this is a custom made guys remember that kit comes with standard uh, libraries but the visual library we have a lot of custom made um, objects I'll choose this one I like this one so what I do is just copy the 2d file and copy and then I go to my working file the one I'm working on and then I'm, I'm going to paste there you, know, um, you see there's no door here so I'm going to enhance my model with this virtual library all I do and paste um, paste it here Central, it's fine. Paste. Um, so tap into the visual library, guess. Uh, it's it's handy. It's handy. It's handy. So I just edit the width, make sure, and delete the one I was copying. And there, is it, there you go. So even the windows, you could do that. The furnishings, the kitchens, and so on. Um, so the model, we are fine with the exterior. I think um, and it was a quick build. You don't. Uh, so the interiors as well. We could. We have interior visual libraries. Um, you could furnish the model with um, the same way we are using the windows and the doors. You could. Um, Finish it with the virtual library again. It's an ever-growing, an ever-growing file, which is uh, for 20, I get 20, a PLA file for what? I get 24, 25, and 26. You know, you have plumbings, you have kitchens, you have um, cabinets, sinks. So that's what we're going to use. We paste, we paste here. Yeah. So. That's basically it. Um, 
because it was a speed build i was just showing how what you could use to improve your workflows improve your your workflows um like i was saying you could now have that's the beauty part of modeling in archicad once you model once your model is complete um you could schedule you could do quite a lot quite a lot uh you could visualize um, um, your project it helps check for possible collisions it makes decision making very fast that the client will be happy with such instead of just 2d 2d drawings um you know uh, it, it, you know th like, like the client will, will, will be happy in terms of if you present something like this you could save this as a, a document as a a 3d document there, there's quite a lot of videos about saving 3d documentations um, but if you're a Lumion guy or a V-Ray guy or Unreal Engine, you could take your model there and render and produce nice renderings because you need to model well. You need to model well. That's the benefits of working in a three-dimensional uh, workflow. Um, so I'm happy with whatever the outcome of this. The client will be happy as well. Since we are middlemen, our client is an architect, uh, is an AutoCAD guy, so I'm pretty sure it will be happy with, um, will be happy with this. So, like I said, the the two D drawings you have to you just extract from the model, the elevations you just extract from the model. So below is the two D and above is the three uh, D. So in the template. Um, everything is set um, y everything is set uh, you 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 know the elevations is just extract you just open elevations they gen generate the presets are saved already and you just happy you just open it up open it up um, that's the beauty part of working on a 3d uh, template okay now what else what else can we extract from a 3d model besides um a 2d draw drawings we could extract other other 2d things if you modeled well you could extract your reports from brickwork your classifications and and so on but today that's that's not the beauty the today's video the video was about uh, transition from 2d to 3d but it, you can take your 3d beyond to 4d and 5d using archive template uh, your reports you could generate your reports using this because um your scheduling and so on these things are we've, we have quite a lot of videos uh, mentioning um scheduling and using classification properties and so on and layers and and so on scheduling tutorials there's a full video series of scheduling in archicad uh, today is not that video so um you could uh, a lot people use this template for quantifications you could use that as well as a template for quantification you could use that for quantification as well um for con this is this uh, reason being this guy is going to site with this uh, model you can go to site with a 2d a pdf you know with the pdf file you need something of this sort uh, reports that are detailed images that are detailed detailed models that are detailed uh, that's the beauty part of working with beam uh, beam is all about uh, remodeling information we are modeling whatever is going to be on site so the rest of the video uh, check out the templates check out the uh, videos in the link uh, look the transformation from a 2d a 2d file from our client but uh, we are going to deliver more than just a 2d nowadays clients wants more than a 2d they want to see what they're investing in they want to see uh, and so on um that's basically it for, for today um i hope you liked the video uh, it was just a quick uh, introduction into digitizing your 2d drawings um to uh, a 3d model faster we using ms beam template um check out our resources in the link in the description uh, subscribe to our youtube channel if you're new here like subscribe and to our patrons we appreciate you guys you are making these videos uh, a success because without you guys uh, 
we wouldn't be able to continue with this um, demonstrations, this workflows and so on. Uh, download the template if you want to save 50% of your time. And the key features of our template, there's an ebook, free ebook. You can check it out. Um, bye for now, gents. Um, stay creative. See you in the next video.